<clears throat> okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kuholoim La Yahawa Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim Rakaha Kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahawa Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And so, you know, I was just uh, meditating, and actually I Googled it. Um, I just put in, why don't black, I just, you know, of course we're not black. We're different shades of brown people. We're Israelites. But I just put in, you know, why don't black people have their own country? And this particular one right here, I think it was, uh, let me see. I mean, it's some stuff that popped up, you know, it's answers, you know, I guess. And, you know, people got their own opinions on, you know, this type of stuff. But I'm talking about as far as our people don't even realize that they are the only people on the planet that don't have their own landmass, their own militaries, their own hospitals, their own universities, their own everything without the so-called white man having anything to do with it. When I say so-called blacks having their own country, I mean absolutely no so-called white person lives there. Wouldn't even be allowed to come there. We need at least, you know, I'm think just from a general thought, you know, we would need at least 200 to 300 years completely away from these people without ever even seeing one of them or ever even interacting with them to, to even just start to heal from the shit that they've done to us. And the only way that we're really going to get that is when Yahweh side, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus come, which would be a so-called black man if he walked the earth today. Right. So let me see if this one, uh, I think I went into this one maybe. And it's, it's a number of, um, you know, uh, replies. Let me see here though. Kind of lost the one that I was in. I was kind of interesting, but, uh. This one right here says what America would be like without blacks. But that's not the point that I, I want to make. We already know that America would plummet without us. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't operate without us. Because America moves on sin. And they use Jake or so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans to really the so-called blacks because they're the top tribe of Israel, which um, were Judites. But um, they use us to influence the sins of the world. They use us as the mascots of their bullshit. So it will most definitely plummet entertainment wise. Um, just in general economic, cause we spend more money than all of them do, even though we're supposedly the least of the population. But I mean, it is what it is. Let me see here though. Yeah. This was the one I think. Yeah. <laughs> But I wanted to go off into Luke chapter one. Because when I just thought about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, we would really need to get away from them to actually prosper. Because if we were to set up our own system, it would have to be biblical, you know what I'm saying? Going back into the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for us to actually survive and to actually prosper and grow. Like how he, he gave us the instructions on how to prosper and grow in the scriptures. You know, he told us that, we, as a matter of fact, we would full blown blow bodies people when it comes to everything if we had our own. But see, the so-called white man, he'll tell you, oh, you're not fit to govern yourself. We're, you're going to need our help. Um, You're going to need this. You're going to need that. No, we need to look after you, you know, but in reality, they just know that simply we don't need them for anything. They need us. And if we were to leave this country, I'm talking about every single last one of us. You know how far, you know how fast America will fall. As a matter of fact, the stock market will, will 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 hit flatline the night of the information. I know that um it's this um episode I forgot what I think it was called Cosmic Slop with um George Clinton, but it's an episode with um the guy that used to play Benson back in the days of you know some aliens basically coming to Earth and they're like you know they want to 
gather up all the uh you know so-called black people and they you know they had a um white house meeting on you know how they you know if, whether or not they should do it because these aliens was like you know hey we're gonna i think they turned the statue of liberty into gold it was like we got all these clean energies we'll make you um richer than you ever think so you know they was trying to um you know basically yank all the so-called black people out of the uh you know out of the planet so to speak to go on these spaceships but one of the things that that, that they, they had a matter of fact it was a a scene where there was in this church so-called black people and they was having this meeting you know about um you know um but basically it was a lot of different races or mainly so-called white people that didn't want us to go they was just basically like you know well you know think about the music think about the food think about the you know the entertainment think about all the things that they do the one guy, the so-called white guy, he was like, look, man, my cigarette company would go out of business. <laughs> Another guy was like, my, my liquor um, sales would go out of business. You know what I'm saying? So they understand and know that through us, they prosper and they, they push their bullshit on us. You know what I'm saying? Who You think um, um, a potato chip company would, would survive without Negroes? Let's let's just be honest. Something as simple as that. Something as simple as um, uh, um a goddamn pack of now laters or a pack of Kool-Aid or you know, mostly uh, any of Nestle's um, products, any of these different companies, PepsiCo, all these products, these fast food restaurants, all these, you know, um, cars, any anything that you can think of, you know what I'm saying? It, none of that shit would survive if we were to just up and leave this place. And they know it. They know it. It's plenty of land on this planet where they can just say, you know what, we done fucked y'all over for four or five hundred years. Um, it's time we go ahead and give y'all some reparations. Y'all go ahead and go for it. Even if we fail. But let us fail on our own. You know what I'm saying? Because we're failing with you. <laughs> but this person right here says, um, it said, he says, because even if they agreed to be segregated like that, yes, it's segregation. Shit will start to go sideways really fast. Some people will say, why do, why do they get to have all that land to themselves? We deserve some of that. Others would lobby really fucking hard to ensure that they got the crappy end of the stick when it came to amenities, trade, public facilities, etc. Long story short, even if they agree to it, just so they be left alone, people would refuse to leave them alone. It's all about punishing them for being black. Everything else is just a misdirection. But really, in reality, it's all about those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let me go to it real quick. Because if you was to really just sit down and, and you have a conversation with a so-called white person about something like this, they'd be like, why? They call you a racist. Why would you want to just be it to yourself? Why would, Why can't we just be around you? Why? You know what I'm saying? They'd be wanting to know why. Tell a so-called white person you don't celebrate 4th of July and see how that turns out. They're going to know why. And then if you tell them, well, I don't celebrate your shit because I don't consider myself to be an American. I'm a descendant of slaves that, you know, your people enslaved. And they're going to have that dumbass look on their face. But really, it's going to be a look of anger. And if you and, and if you ask them in in a certain setting, they hey, they'll, they'll want to put hands on you. And they will if they, they have the numbers and, <laughs> you know, and you're in the right situation. They'll put hands on you because that really heats them, man. This is Deuteronomy 28. Let me get verse one. It says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Right. So first off, we would need to be in a situation where we can actually keep the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we can't do that with them. In their, in their system, their government, we will have to leave all the niggas behind that want to be a part of the LGBTQ, and y'all can stay. You will have to stay. Because we will have to set up laws, statutes, and commandments against that that goes, and this is what the Lord is coming to do. Those laws are going to be implemented where, because we will have to get rid of everything that we actually learned from the so-called white man, Micah 2 and 10. You know, we can't have LGBTQ and prosper. Because what we, we what we would be trying to do is to build our nation and we will build our nations through marriages and through couples getting together and having children. LGBTQ goes totally against that. We would have to get rid of that shit immediately. 
abortions. We would have to get rid of that shit immediately. We would have to have real strict laws on if you took someone's life, you, we had to put your ass to death so that that, you know, that the evil would be purged. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord said. Because see, America, you got the liberty to just run around and do everything and anything that you want to do. See, we're going back to law, statutes and commandments in our kingdom. You're not going to be able to just run around and do what you want to do. We would have to get rid of um, 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 women being the head of households. We would have to go completely back into the order of the father, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai, the men, then the women, then the children. That's order. Here in America, or just in, in Esau's um, kingdom in general, it don't make no difference where you go. It's like that whether you go to France, Italy, or whatever. You know, some of them are a little bit better than others. But e either way, the so-called white man, he's not capable of living a righteous way, man. He's he he, he he's just not capable. The Lord then then um then creating for that. So we would need complete awareness from them. No, you can't visit. We don't need you getting passports. We don't need you um, um, trying to come with no tourism. We don't need... No, you're not coming into our kingdom. You motherfuckers stay where the fuck you are and let us just handle. But see, they, they, they would never allow that because they know that it would completely destroy them. And then you'll have these ones that would really want to go with us. You no, know, we would have to leave all you guys behind. You know, now, this is not a skin color thing. I'm just saying it from a standpoint of, you know, me speaking as a man as to why won't they just go ahead and give um, you so-called blacks some land. Because there's plenty of land. The earth is enormous. There's plenty of land. You know, they can give, they can give us the state of Texas. And keep the other 49 states and they'd be perfect. We'd be perfect with just the state of Texas. But guess what? He'll be right there with his military. He'll be right there trying to run shit. The same way that he, he does with the um, so-called Native American Indians. You know, he acts as if, you know what I'm saying, they're free to do what they want. They have their little laws or they, you know, they got these little casinos. But in the meanwhile, he's in control of where they can be and where they can go and all this other shit. So just from a standpoint of just the way that they, they, they run things and do things is wickedness, man. We would have to get rid of all their way of thinking. So this is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. But this is not your rest because it, it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. So this place has totally polluted us and, and, and we're sorely destroyed because we're living under the rules and regulations of, of Edomites. These, you know, the wicked. So we would have to be... Totally away from them. It, you know, if, if we were to ever see any of them ever again, it should be so long that we should be like, what the fuck is that? Who, you know, like what kind of people look like that? We shouldn't even know nothing about you no more. <laughs> like straight up. Let's go back off into this. Because you had a couple of more um, people that was commenting. I seen one, you know, it's just people, you know, they, they shit. This person says, we never had our own state. But we did have very eco economically production cities like Tulsa, Oklahoma. But unfortunately, see, even something like that, they can't even let you have a damn city, man, without them fucking with you. It says, unfortunately, it was eventually either destroyed by the United States government or completely eliminated by jealous mobs of white Americans. Some might not like this answer, but it's true. Look up Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. This person um, says, this was one of the interesting um, comments I've seen too. Uh, for the same reason, see, this is a person that, that will be against it. For the same reason, German Americans don't have their own state. And we're not talking about no fucking state. You, you know, fuck a state. We're talking about a continent. Like how you motherfuckers got continents. Fuck a state. <laughs> you know, but they you trying to compare us to everybody else. It says, for the same reason. German Americans don't have their own state. Mexican Americans don't have theirs, etc. Blacks are not separate. They, like everyone else born here, are Americans. No, we're not Americans. We are descendants of slaves. To be an American, we would have to have participated in the thievery and the murder, rape, robbing, and pillaging of the so-called Native Amer American Indians, which is the tribe of Gad. And then we would have to have actually taken part in our own coming to put ourselves on boats to be brought here to and and, and hung ourselves and, and whipped ourselves and all that other shit. See? That's that that's the difference. We're, we're not Americans, man. We are Israelites. 
It says your question wreaks ignorance, racism, and separatism. Well, the Lord separated us. Because the Lord didn't want us all together. Only Esau does that because he goes against the scriptures. Let's get that. Because the Lord divided the nations. He didn't want us all together. That's the reason why he broke down um, Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, Salakia, um, uh, 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 the Tower of Babel, Salakia. It's that scripture, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. It says, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. See, all nations should have their own inheritance. But why is it that we don't? Because Esau, you know, he, he, he has gathered us all up and he's done nothing but enslaved us. We're, we're in captivity. And he's gonna pay, they're gonna pay for that shit. It says when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. See that? Let's get that back again. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the most high divided to the nations their inheritance. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So the Lord divided the nations and separated us. There is a such thing uh, called uh, separatism. Because just because you have, say for instance, you got a jaguar, you got a, uh, a, a, a panther, you got a lion, you got a leopard, you got a um, puma. All these are big cats. But guess what? Do they hang out together? No, they don't. They're not the same. They are the same of the same family of cats just like we're we're all supposedly humans but we all have different spirits and different purposes and the lord separated us as so right it's just like you got different birds you might have a crow you have a, a blue jay you can have a falcon you can have a cardinal you can have a sparrow you can have a robin now do they all hang out together hell no <laughs> you know what i'm saying but they're all birds so the Lord separated the nations, man, and he separated everything like that. See, these 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 Americans, these so-called white people, they get to talking about we're all one people, we're all one race, the human race. But the Lord separated the nations, man. He gave us all different spirits, and we just so happen to have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He gave us rules and regulations that, that made us holy, and that word holy goes off into being separate. See, they, these people don't understand that. Right. So that, that you know, they says your question reeks of ignorance, racism, and separatism. You should seriously consider either reworking it into something serious or withdrawing it completely. See, this is how some of these people think. This person says, "Why should they have their own state?" See, they're like any other people. Just because they're black has nothing to do with anything. Your question reeks of prejudice. All people breathe the same air. Well, yeah, well, okay, but are we running anything? It's your people that's running every fucking thing, though. We don't have no military. We don't have no, no say-so in anything that's going on on the earth. You think we have any any say-so as to what's going to happen as far as World War Three and, you know, nuclear weapons being fired? No, we're just in these cities and countries working our asses off having taxes pay, um, taken from us. We don't, have, not, we're not sitting down at you know, a G20 summit meeting or a G7 meeting or, you know, any of these summits and shit that they be having um, um, explaining our side of things as a, a nation of people. No, we're, we're subjects. We're, we're, we're fucking in captivity to these people. But this is the type of arrogance that they actually have. And, and, this, and it actually shows you their perpetual hatred. They can't see you possibly being like, they can't actually see like, okay, well, we have enslaved them for a couple of hundred years. It would, it would only be right that we do give them some of the land that we don't take over the whole entire globe. See, they don't think like that. This is why, you know, and you got Jake that's about to celebrate um, Thanksgiving, man. I was in Walmart yesterday. Uh, 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 you know, the so-called black woman in there with a, a, a buggy full of chitlins, you know. Buggy full of goddamn ham hocks. Healthiest damn thing in the, in the buggy with some greens. You know? Probably some damn um, um, sweet potatoes to make some damn um, lamb, um, uh, um, yams. Which, you know, of course, they're going to turn into a, 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 a damn a, 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 a fucking pie of diabetes on you. Okay, this person says, well, dear... Because they are Americans and have all the rights of any other American under the Constitution. And that includes the right to live where they wish to live. 
racists always have the strangest notions unrelated to reality. See this? This is how these people think. This person says, why would they need or ever require one? <laughs> See? And if you notice, all these immigration problems, and this is all over the world. This is not just an American thing. Everybody that's trying to go somewhere, it's always the so-called white people telling them where they can go and where they can't go. Immigration laws. They the ones with a border talking about you can't come here or go there, but you done stole everything. So where is where the fuck is everybody supposed to go into the damn ocean? And even if you went into the ocean, you couldn't even do that. Because why they got the big ass boats out on the oceans in, to begin with, with the binoculars, uh, looking to see if your ass is out there to begin with coming towards them. But this is how they think. I'm glad I, I pulled this, man. Because I didn't even, that was the spirit. And, and I was going to just chill, you know what I'm saying? What is, you know, the spirit, uh, go ahead. Strike while the iron is hot. This person says, why would they ever need or, or require one? That's just silly. When no other people are included in this. But you, why would you be included, bitch? You running the world. You got the land. You had the continent of, 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 of North America, South America, Russia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 pretty much all of Asia. Hell, you over there running Africa. You got Australia, Ireland, po po um, Poland, all these different places, bro. Greece. Rome, uh, come on, bro. It's a, they, they say, I mean, there's no state that is only for German people. See, same old shit. There's no state that is only for Asian people. What the fuck are you talking about? China got their own shit. Japan got their own shit. Even though, you know, you Americans, you so-called white people, you bomb the shit out of Japan. Though they still do have their own little landmass and still have their own little government. We know you're running it in the backdrop. But you can't front like China or North Korea. All those are so-called Asian people. It says there's no state that is just for blind people and so on. Yes, it is. They're all, all over the place. We're all American, and that should be the end of the story. No, we're not American. I don't identify as no motherfucking American. You crazy as hell. <laughs> like, for real, but if you tell you tell a so-called white person that, they will turn fire, fire truck red on your ass, man, and be ready to put hands on you. This person says, sorry, I'm a little confused here. In 2024, why are they African Americans? Is that... What's on their birth certificates? Sure, their ancestors their ancestors may have come from Africa. Yeah, we come from Africa, but we're not Hamites. We're for damn sure not Africans. That's a different race of people. Everyone with melanin is not the same people. And, and these silly ass Americans don't know that. It's per, but they go on to say, but so too did the Australian Aborigines. And if you believe sincere, so did everyone else. Are African Americans not Americans? Is America so divided by racism that they have to identify themselves by where they, their forefathers were born? That they're too ashamed to call themselves true Americans? Or is it something else? Yeah, right, man. This person says, in a way, the United States has already tried this. The U.S. made a colony in Africa called Liberia for black Americans who wanted to return to Africa. In general... Though the idea of having specific state designated for black Americans is a form of segregation, segregation has tended not to work as intended because it it's made it easier for white Americans to retain wealth and qualify of life and quality of life without other ethnic groups sharing the same prosperity due to being shut out of existing opportunities. The truth is that there is no need to separate people of different ethnicities and that open mindedness and acceptance are possible no we do need to be separated because the lord separated us is that we're not supposed to be all lumped up together like this it says there really isn't a good reason that sitting in a restaurant or on a bus with someone or of a different race and economic class should bother you merely being in the presence of someone different from some from yourself should not be threatening well that, that, tell that to the so-called white man because he's the one that pushed that shit he's the one that pushed white and black He's the one that called us two different continents that's named after him. Come on, bro. This person said no group gets a state of their own. And they won't even see this shit. They won't even, they don't, they won't, they can't even agree to you having a state, bro. The smallest state in America they would not give you. 
So just imagine when our Lord comes and we, we are over the complete fucking globe, like how they are. Because that's what's coming. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But I wanted to roll through a couple of these, man, because this is how these people think, man. Here you go. Congrats. You just became a segre segregationist. Damn racists are more over the overt these days. We talking about the same. Look, my 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 dad is alive. My dad uh, uh, lived an experience, not being able to sit in a white restaurant, not being able to drink from a motherfucking water fountain because it says white only's on it. That wasn't that long ago. So who was doing all the segregating? Who was the ones that was fighting where you needed the military, the, you needed national guard to show up just to get a a Negro little girl to go to a, a, a school? Which I don't get it why Jake was fighting so hard. Why even Jake fights so hard to, to this very day to try and be around these people. Because I don't trust them. I'm not going to try and get no, no fucking house in your neighborhood. No apartment around you. I don't want to live around you. For real. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to grab um another scripture and get out. It says, why would we need a... Now here you go. Now this got to be a nigga. Here you go. Why would we need a state of our own part? We're part of the whole USA. We helped build in some willingly and some unwillingly through slavery. Blacks have fought in all of its wars, which you shouldn't have, stupid. What blacks also fought for was an end to segregation. Why would you want it? See, this is this is why two thirds of niggas going to be killed right here. This is why the Lord is going to take out two thirds of you niggas. That's the reason why I was saying it. Say, for instance, if we were to have our own country, we would have to leave niggas like this behind. You would have to stay because you wouldn't be a value to us. You would be a hindrance to us because you you would have Stockholm syndrome so bad that you 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 bring your whiteness that that, that this this Edomite shit into our place where we don't need none of that shit. We would have to totally scrap everything that we ever learned from this man. Person like this, they would have to just stay, stay with stay with Esau. We'll see how they treat your ass and see how quick you be trying to get to us after you see that you you really don't have no help. What blacks also fought for was an end to segregation. No, we didn't fight for that, man. We, we, we that you know that, that was Martin Luther King and his bullshit, and not put a black, put on a black reservation like what was done for Native Americans, which I think is the desire of the OP who made the question. You're not as slick as you think. Anyway, it's enough of that. Let's go into the script because this was a scripture that I you know that. There's Luke. I always say, read through the book of Luke chapter one, and you're going to see as to why the Lord came. This is the exact reason why the Lord came right here. Well, he's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. We're not going to be. Trust me, there's going to be all types of segregation when the Lord comes. <laughs> We're not going to be around you so-called white people, Chinese people, Japanese. We're not going to. Y'all not going to step foot in our kingdom. You, you can cut it out. Yeah, it's gonna yeah for real. You talking about real redlining? Let me just jump to the point. Let me start at verse sixty-seven, Luke chapter one, verse sixty-seven. If you don't know the true, real gospel, the good news as to why the Lord is coming, Luke one and sixty-seven, and that and his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and, and prophesied, saying, "Blessed be the Lord God of Israel." For he has visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. And he, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. This is the point. And from the hand of all that hate us. Every comment, I, I, I didn't read one positive comment in there where it says that, no, they should really have their own land. They should really be able to govern their own selves. See, they, they, they would never think like that about you. They feel as if, first off, they they, they, they feel as if they own you because they know that they really do. Secondarily, they think that you're so goddamn stupid that you can't govern yourself. When the actual laws, the shit that they do do, their little house, you know, their systems that they have set up, they actually got their 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 legal systems from us. Their whole setup, their whole way of, of living somewhat civil. They got all that from us. We taught them how to do that. But they're just wicked as hell with it. See? But this is why the Lord is coming right here. Let me get that back again. Verse 71. 
that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. This is all talking about the Israelites. That he would grant. This is the point right here. That he verse 74. That he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. That's the point. You can't properly serve the Lord when you live in a nation that that promotes abortion, that promotes LGBTQ, that that that, you know, um, promotes anti-life on every level. You know, a person can just gun down 30 people and you just give him life in prison, sometimes not even that. You housing and feeding this man for 50, 60, 70 years of his life when he had just killed all these damn people. No, you put his ass to death. He should go down. You know, you live in a nation where people, where motherfuckers can, 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 can sleep with animals and not get no punishment for it. Come on, bro. Can do all matter of heinous crimes and shit. Like, like, no, we would need total separation from these people so we can properly serve our God. That's it, man. Verse 75, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. You think you can do that living in a so-called white um, white person's um, 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 nation or his kingdom? Come on, man. This man got all kinds of serious violations set up, man, throughout the earth, man. Well, he And he prospers off of it, you know? Justice is not, not, not meted out um, um, levelly or balanced. He gets a slap on the wrist. We get life in fucking prison for the same crimes. Come on, bro. We need out of here. <laughs> Talking about separationists, segregationists. Get the fuck out of here. Hell, even here in the Americas, it's segregated. You got all these so-called white neighbors. You, you have places here in America that, that's called uh, uh, sundown towns. Totally segregated. You can go to some of these cities in America right now in 2024. You, these people will be looking uh, these fucking nigger. You, you even have like delivery drivers. All, all, a, all a person is doing is delivering you a goddamn package. And you had these white people out here, you know, blocking off fucking Amazon trucks, blocking off UPS trucks, blocking off FedEx trucks because the so-called driver is black. You've even had a situation. We talking about 2024 where they uh, delivery drivers are getting shot at. People of color, you know what I'm saying? It's just trying to deliver a package to you. The fucking place is so segregated. But then you'll have people in the comment boards and shit like this right here talking as if, why should they have it? We talking about, and they saying a state. So imagine you talking about a continent. They, these people won't even give you a city. A local town. You couldn't even have a local town. Why, why do they get to have uh, 40 acres and a mule? You you even promised 40 acres and a mule and didn't even get that shit up. Boy, I tell you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you eat them ice, man. Y'all got a lot to pay for, bro. Yeah, it's not it's not a positive um um comment in this thing. It says this part, this part, why? There, there are always instigators around every shade with the left working to keep many our fellow Americans in an often second class status. This election proves, man, fuck out of here. These people. It says this is exactly what the nation of Islam wants. But I got news, a news flash for you. Not all blacks want to want the same thing. I think all races should should be their own. So, yeah, I think so, too, because we leave all you niggas behind. Any niggas that won't want to get down, they have to just stay behind. You got to stay behind. You have to stay behind. And, and again, hey, this is the reason why the Lord is going to kill off two-thirds of Israel. Because they're going to want to stay behind. They have Stockholm Syndrome too bad. They, 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 they love the oppressor. They love their kidnapper. And again, you're going to... Look. Tell your mama you don't celebrate um, um, Thanksgiving. Or you're not coming to the Christmas celebration. Why? Because um, I just um, feel as if it's murder, <laughs> and they're gonna and they're not gonna want have want, want to have nothing to do with you. 
Or they gonna everybody at the damn at the, sitting at the the turkey table or the ham table, they're gonna be talking shit about you. He won't let the grandkids come over. I don't know why he teaching them about this hate. <laughs> like, look, these people got to be left behind. The Lord is going to kill two thirds of our people that think that way. There's nothing you can do for them. And we got to just let them go. <laughs> for like, for real, like you into this truth, man. Hey, just know the scriptures talks about how your family is going to come up against you. They're going to be the ones that's going to say, yep, that nigga believe in that Bible. He believes that people should be separated. He believes that so-called white people should go into slavery. He believes this, this, this. He upstairs in the attic hiding. This is going to be your family members that's going to give you up. So you can't even be tripping on nothing like that. You can clearly see. <laughs> this is how this place thinks, man. These people, they won't even give you a, a, a damn city. Let's on a state or, or, or a continent, you know, because like I said, again, the only way that you will really be able to survive, you will have to purge every single thing that you ever learned from these people, man. And that's what's going to come in the kingdom. What do you think is going to happen when the new covenant is? That's how you know we're not under the, uh, the new covenant yet. When the new covenant hits us, man, we're going to have the law, statutes and commandments written on our minds and our hearts. And we're not, man, we're going to be so far away, but it's going to, man, you're talking about night and day. Our motherfucking thoughts are not going to be nowhere near what we think like in this kingdom, man. We're going to be complete kings. Complete on a royalty thinking level, man. We're going to put, man, we're going to stomp the fuck out of these people, man. Any notion or, or withering of, of fucking evil or wickedness being around us, man, we're going to stomp out immediately. It ain't going to be uh, 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 having to go out in the public and, 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 and possibly no we're not going to even be working no fucking jobs but we we most definitely not about to be around no damn he she's no a b c d e of g's we're not going to be around none of that shit man you're not going to be able to be touching our children and doing what you want to do to them and, and especially not teaching our damn children about no gender uh, uh change ups and all this man you crazy them just come on bro we're not about to be around none of that and we can't wait. Here you go, the so-called white man. This motherfucker can tell you that he, he he can have a whole place to himself where if he see you, if he just see you, he's calling the police on you. He can have a whole place like that, <laughs> but 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 we're supposedly be the the. Come on, bro. We're the racist though. Nah, man. Anyway, I'm going to end out there. Hey, I just, you know, this just hit my spirit. And I'm like, you know what? Let me Google. Let me see what. And I just never knew that nothing like this would pop up. But it does. it's not surprising. It's not surprising at all. So, brothers, know what we up against. This is the type of shit that we're up against. Because we're not just, a, you know, up against the, our enemies. But we're, our people are our enemies, too. Here you go. We're telling you that you're the best people on the planet. You read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 to the people. Here, you can read this scripture to Jake all day long, and Jake don't want nothing to do with it. This is why his ass has got to be destroyed. He's got to be destroyed with the enemy. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And that word holy goes off until we're a separate people. That's separatism. So, uh, being a separatist right there. God damn it. That's what the word holy goes into. Matter of fact, let's see. Being separated, man. Quados. Sacred. See, set apart. There you go. That's being separated, man. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So, unto himself is, is separatism. He separated us. So be mad with the Lord, man, about separatism. Unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Up, oh, that sounds like the Lord is racist. That he's a separatist. We clearly read that he divided the nations. But you can go out and tell Jake this right here. Our so-called people. I mean the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people. You tell them this scripture right here. They're going to fight you tooth and nail about the so-called white man. Why can't he come? That's being racist. What do you mean we're, we're above all people? No, we're not. We're even. No, the fuck you. You're not even even in this man's kingdom. He's above you. 
And he's and, and you, yeah, you. These Edomites are proud to say it, especially these these ones that's got the battery in their back. Since Trump won, they'll tell you straight up, you niggas are nothing. You're beneath me, and they look at you that way. They talk to you that way. They treat you that way. They feed you that way. <laughs> they give you drink that way. Look at your neighborhoods. These people don't care nothing about you, man. This, these are your enemies. They hate your fucking guts. There's too many scriptures on it. We, that scripture in Luke, it clearly says the Lord is coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. Enemies don't like you. Enemies hate you. It actually says out of the hands of all that hate us. You can clearly see in those comments that I was reading, these people hate us. But Jake, they love these people, man, because that's how sorely destroyed they are. And the Lord is going to continue. The Lord is just going to, I mean, it's like the whole head is sick. That's what the scriptures talk about. The whole head is sick. Jake through. What, what could you do with a nigga that think that way? He will be a hindrance to you. He'll get all, he'll get the whole clan killed. You will have to get rid of that cancer, man. He's a cancer. So the Lord is going to knock off two thirds of our people. And, and then it's just going to have to, it's going to be a redo in the kingdom where they're still going to be separatists. That's when they'll come back in their right minds and, in their, and, 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 and you know, with the law, statutes, and commandments on their hearts and, and souls, man. But anyway, <laughs> so like you for the language, it gets you a little amped, a little geek, man. But damn, bro. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalala and the Bible Ball.